everybody, CR Media Gal here. Welcome back to my channel. As you can see from the title, today I'm going to be doing a closet organization and transformation for you guys. I've done other closet organization and decluttering type videos on my channel before. So if you would like to go back and watch those, I will have links to those in the description below. If you are new here, please be sure to hit that subscribe button so that you can see more videos like this on my channel. Also, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you would, it really helps me out. And yeah, let's jump right in. Virtually every item that I used for closet organization in this video I got off of Amazon. I will also be sure to link those for you down below. So for starters, as you can see, I am going to be switching out the hangers that I have with these cream colored velvet hangers. Yes, I know that's a first world problem for <laughs> closet organizing. However, I am actually redecorating pretty much my entire bedroom. And I'm going for more neutral colors. It's just, I'm moving more into that kind of style. So yes, I am actually going to be taking all of these hangers and I'm going to be selling um, the turquoise ones that I have. I've been selling them off of Poshmark. So I am getting rid of them. I, you know, like I'm, they're not just going to waste, I promise. So yeah, this is absolutely not something you have to do, but I am a bit of a when it comes to organization and I, I just I wanted to do the whole revamping and that included getting new hangers so this was very tedious so I didn't show this entire process but while I was going through and switching out these hangers I was also going through my closet again I tend to do this every couple months and get rid of stuff and make room for the new so I wasn't just you know switching out the hangers I was also getting rid of some clothes too which is always you know that's always a good thing to keep on top of the decluttering otherwise for me in particular I, I don't know about any of you but it can get overwhelming after a while if you let it go too long this is still a work in progress but I ended up basically just hanging things by type rather than by color and I might actually go back through my wardrobe at some point and just reorganize by color because I, you know, I keep reading and hearing from other uh, organizers on YouTube that that actually helps you find things in your closet a lot easier. So I might end up doing that, but for now, I'm just kind of organizing things by, you know, coats, jackets, cardigans, shirts, skirts, etc. <music> It looks like I have a gazillion hangers, <laughs> and I do, but I think I ended up buying, because they came in bulks of 50 on Amazon, so I think I wound up with a little over 100. Maybe they came in less than 50. I think you can buy them in less than 50. I'm not sure. <laughs> this whole process took several weeks to do, but anyway, I tried to save the other ones so that I can, again, sell them on my Poshmark, so if you're looking for hangers, I will leave my Poshmark closet down below. I'll show you here in a minute when I move on from rehanging everything, but I lost some hanger space, but it ended up working out perfectly. I got this closet hanging unit with uh, different shelves on it, and I do have a cubby hole storage bin there that has been in my closet and I've been using it forever. But I ended up turning it long ways because I was just, as you can see, they're just stuffing things there. And with all the things that I had hanging as well, I just could never see what was on top. Oh, there's my Kate Spade box purse. I love that. Probably my favorite thing in my closet. <laughs> anyway, I uh, ended up turning it long ways, like I said. And also I'm going to be switching out those turquoise cubes because again, I'm going for more beige and creams and neutral colors throughout my bedroom. So I'm gonna do that in my closet as well. But this is the closet hanging organizer that I put together. And even though I lost some hanger storage, this thing is 
great. I can't recommend it enough. I ended up storing a lot of PJs and turtlenecks, light sweaters. And then I also bought an assortment of smaller organizers for, you know, underwear, for socks, for belts, for whatever you want to use them for. And those ended up coming in very handy as well. So I'm starting with the closet hanging organizer. I half did the Marie Kondo folding method and half just the regular. I don't know why I did it that way. I just kind of did my own thing and did what worked best for me. By the way, for any of the newbies watching, I am a type one diabetic. So at different points throughout this video, you will see a thingamabob on my arm. That's my sensor or some tubing hanging out of my pocket. And that's from my insulin pump. It's natural to wonder what that might be. So I'm just clear in the air on that. That's not something that I shy away from on this channel. It took some trial and error for me to figure out how exactly I was gonna organize different items in my closet. So you'll see that as well throughout the video that the way I organized things changed, but majority of what I ended up using it for was for uh, athletic wear. I actually used one of them for a bunch of camis and tag tops, bras, socks, and belts. These organizers are so versatile that really you can organize them however you wish to, whatever method works for you. And this is what worked for me. This steel shelving unit on the right side of my closet is boarded into the wall. And you will also see later on in this video that I reorganized this area quite a bit. But now I'm moving into my tank tops and camis and I'm gonna try and do the Marie Kondo method. That kind of worked, kind of didn't. It looks really sloppy and disorganized. But actually, if you look at it up close, it's, it's not. It actually works pretty well. But I ended up redoing this a bit later. did end up running out of space with some of these fabric organizers, so I did make a second purchase on Amazon. So they're slightly different in color, but they both work very well. So again, I'll link them down below. But now I'm going to move into organizing and revamping this area. I ended up using some fabric cubes for storage mainly for scarves and mittens and hats. And then in the open areas, I just ended up putting a lot of my jeans and some of my fandom shirts on the bottom. wanted to get my hands on these storage cubes because they have the little leather strap detail in the front. I, love, I just really, really love that. And you'll see how that ties in with other elements of my closet as well. They do tend to frequently sell out on Amazon. So if they are out, just keep an eye on them because they do restock and I definitely recommend them. So I'm doing a bit of organizing here as well as decluttering some of my winter accessories.
This is probably my favorite area of my closet now. I just really loved how this whole side of the closet turned out as far as organization goes. I feel like I know exactly where everything is now. I can see everything too. It just worked out perfectly. But now I'm just going to move more of my hangers around just to kind of make room. These white steel closet organizers I bought, well, I shouldn't say organizers, separators. I bought these off of Amazon, but these I am definitely not linking down below because these turned out to be a bit of a hazard. But as you can see here, I've got kind of some sloppiness of my sweaters going on and the separators are kind of supposed to help keep all of your sweaters upright. So that's why I bought this, but it, it fits my shelves, but they ended up popping out and I didn't get any footage of it, but like it nearly hit me in the eye. And I mean, those things are made of like steel. They are hard. <laughs> and that could have um, sent me to the emergency room to be perfectly honest with you. So I definitely do not recommend these separators. So I won't be linking them down below, but I did get a different kind that I'll show you here in a minute. But right now I'm just putting in the separators and it'll look exactly the same with the new kind that I get that actually kind of go across. These are the new ones. And you'll see here in a moment, they kind of go across rather than underneath, like kind of clipping on like the other ones did. I got about eight of these and they ended up being cheaper. Now they worked well on this side of my closet, but on the other side with the shelving that's bolted into the wall, I didn't realize I should have measured, but those shelves are way too deep. So it's kind of flimsy, but I think I'm gonna just keep them um, and as I maybe stack more shirts and leggings on this side, maybe they'll stand up right better. I don't know. So it's, they're a bit of a flop on this side, but I mean, whatever. They, they do the job where my sweaters are concerned. So I think as you stack more things together with those dividers, they'll stand up more upright, even if they don't necessarily fit. So we shall see, time will tell. Now I'm finally going to tackle the rest of these shelves. And also I'm going to reorganize the bit of storage that I have on those other two shelves up top. I keep a lot of my seasonal uh, bedroom decor stored in my closet because really I have nowhere else to put it. So I'm gonna go through those here in a minute as well after I'm done here. So I'll let you just enjoy the montage and some music for a little bit here while I organize. a bit worried when I started this whole process because you know it is an organic thing at least for me like I have a idea of how I want things to be 
but in the end, you don't, you're not sure what the end result is gonna be, but I ended up having some extra space here on the shelf, so that was kind of exciting. And then I also have this plastic uh, three storage bin unit that I keep against the wall, and it was just taking up a lot of space. And I had so much extra stockings, tights, and socks in there, so I went through that, decluttered it completely, ended up putting my socks elsewhere in a separate drawer. And so now I'll finally be able to get rid of that, which is great. And lastly, I got a new laundry basket. And this is from H&M. And again, it kind of goes with the rest of my, you know, closet organization decor. It has the little leather straps and it fits this area perfectly. But I will say, if you're interested in this basket, it's very nice but it definitely has a bit of a smell. Not like a chemically smell, but definitely has that like been sitting in a warehouse for a while kind of smell. So just be aware of that. It needs a good ironing too. <laughs> but for the sake of this video, I wasn't gonna do that. So this completes my closet revamp and organization. So just a bit of before, so you can see how badly disorganized this was. It was desperately needed and I couldn't be more pleased with the results. And I hope you are too. you enjoyed this revamping and reorganizing of my closet if you did please be sure to give this video a thumbs up I really appreciate it it really helps out my channel also please be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you can get alerts on future videos from me and I will see you guys again soon